If you have a higher budget and if you are looking for more powerful options, then consider the AMD RX 7900 XTX, which is priced at around $930. That's the cheapest one that I found. Or the NVIDIA RTX 4080, which is priced at around $1200. The RX 7900 XTX boasts an impressive 24 gigabytes of video RAM, which is substantially higher than NVIDIA's 16 gigabyte offering. On the other hand, the RTX 4080 features more CUDA cores and these CUDA cores are typically better in content creation workloads than compared to the AMD cores. Now, depending on your specific needs and your preferences, either of these two options could be a compelling choice for your setup. So let's take a look at the GPU effects benchmark on DaVinci Resolve. So here we observe that the NVIDIA RTX 4080 offers approximately 7% performance improvement over the AMD RX 7900 XTX. But considering that RTX 4080 is 20% higher in price compared to RX 7900 XT, is this extra performance gain worth the price? So to answer this question, let's look at some more benchmarks results. So in the H.264 and H.265 video encoding benchmark, RTX 4080 comes out ahead by about 16%. But it falls short when working with raw media files. So files like Red Raw and Black Magic Raw, these are two popular uh, raw files. If you're working with them, then RTX 4080 actually falls behind. Now in the extended overall benchmark for DaVinci Resolve, both RTX 4080 and the RX 7900 XTX finish almost neck to neck. So based on these benchmark results, I would recommend picking AMD RX 7900 XTX over Nvidia RTX 4080. You would save almost $200 without any performance loss. Now the only caveat is 3D animation work if you are using something like Blender. Here Nvidia kicks AMD's ass as is evident in this benchmark result. Honestly, for 3D work, just forget about AMD and pick the most expensive NVIDIA card that you can afford. 